Hi there. Today I'd like to tell you a story about David and Goliath. Now it all happened when King Saul wasn't um, pleasing to God. So he wanted to anoint another king. So God told him to go to Jesse. And when he went to Jesse, Jesse had eight sons. Now, uh, David was out in the uh, desert looking after the sheep and Saul was there to anoint one of them as a king and he went through all of them and he said, have you got any more sons? And Jesse said, well, actually, I've got a younger son, David, and he's looking after the sheep. Do you want me to get him for you? So he did. And God told um Samuel, who was a prophet, that this was the one. Because God looks at the heart and not at the appearance. And he knew that David had a heart for him. So uh, this wasn't very good for the brothers because they thought, this little whippersnap, he's been anointed as king. Why weren't we anointed as king? So that sets the scene. Okay. Now, <clears throat> in in those days, um, they were fighting for the land, and in the land were Philistines, which were their their enemies. And um, Jesse told told David to go and take a lunch or or food for his brothers that were in the army. Now the army was there was it was the Valley of Elah, and there was a hill on one side and the hill on the other, and the Philistines are on one side, and the Israelites on the other, David's people. And uh, they met in the middle. Now, this went on for 40 days. They were just jiking one another. They didn't actually fight. So uh, David went along there, like his dad had said, and took some food. But um, the brothers didn't like it, because they thought, this with a snapper again. So they said to him, what have you come here for? Uh, but David, while he was talking to them, this huge man came out. He was nine foot tall, which is as big as um, the ceiling of one of your rooms, probably. And um, he was he was saying horrible things. And he said, um, if any of you, can, what one of you men can come out and fight me? And none of that, they were running scared, the the David's, the, the Israelites, David's people. Uh, and David looked at them and he thought, well, I could tackle him because when I'm in the wilderness looking after the sheep, I have to tackle bears and I have to tackle lions and I kill them. So I can do this one. So that's what he did. He said, I can do it. So that didn't, that wasn't... His brothers weren't very happy about that. But anyway, the king got to hear about this and he said, well, look, you can go out and you can do this, but put my armour on, that will protect you. But um, David couldn't wear the armour. It was too heavy. He was only a kid. So he went out and he thought, this is how I do it in the wilderness. So he went down to the pool and he got five smooth stones and he got his sling got five smooth stones and he put one of the stones in his sling and this um this Goliath said to him well the idea was if if someone kills him then um they the other people will be the slaves so David got this stone in the sling and we all know the story don't we where he he slung it at uh, Goliath and he fell face down Goliath did so he went over and took the sword out of his 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 armor and put it in Goliath and killed him so then all the Israelites ran after the um, Philistines and chased them off and killed them and yeah so the battle was won by the Israelites that day um, King Saul heard about this and uh, 
he said, bring that young man to me. And Davy seems horrible, but he, he took he, still clutching um, Goliath's head. He went along to Saul and Saul said to him, whose son are you? And he said, my dad's Jesse from Bethlehem. And that was that's the end of the story. That's the battle. But what what David was his reward was he would have great wealth and he would have a, a wife from King Saul's one of King Saul's daughters. And his dad, Jesse, wouldn't have to pay taxes anymore in his life. So Jesse was very pleased about this. OK, I'll just pray about this. Um, Father God, we just thank you that um, you look at the heart and not at the appearance. And Father, I just pray that you would just help us to have hearts for you, like David, and live to please you. Amen. Hi, guys. Today we're going to go through the story of uh, David and Goliath. And this is the artwork that goes with it. Um, I've got a little, if you can see that, where his forehead is, um, where David hit his head with the stone. Um, it goes red. I thought you'd enjoy making this craft. <clears throat> okay. So we've got the, you'll, you'll have the template on the website. Coloured it in, and now <clears throat> I need to cut out where the, the forehead is. I'll show you how to do that. It's a bit tricky. These these scissors are really good for it. So I pierce it through first. Watch your fingers, and then come through from the bottom, and then cut round like so. Just do it gently. And you'll get there. Like so. It might be a bit tatty, but uh, I'll show you how to. To, to clean it up a bit. <clears throat> I get a pencil and just put it through so that the this this crown piece of the pencil can just push it down gently and it just makes it the whole smooth. Okay and then fold it over so that you get a nice piece of blank at the top here so it balances it up. So I fold it over like so. Yeah, that's okay. Now I need to make a pocket for this piece of card to slide through. So I'll put some glue here and some glue here. I can either use glue, which I can spread along here, school glue, I spread along there. But I like to use um, two stick tape. So I'll put some along. Some above it. Make sure you leave a, a pocket that's wide enough for your um, strip of cardboard. This one. And then one below it, like so. Then peel this off. Stick it down and then ah, if you slot your piece of card in, in that particular place, 
my eye. Now, if I put it right through, okay, and then I mark it with a pencil, just a little dot. If I can see it here, that's a dot. And then I can take it out and then colour that particular piece in red so you don't have to colour the whole thing in. And this is my original, which I've already coloured. And then you slot it in. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Slot it in like that. And that's what David did. And when he, when I, I forgot to say it in the story, but when David trusted God, and when he went in front of Goliath, he said, "You come against me with sword and spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty." the God of the armies of Israel. So he was trusting in God with this. And I'll just tell you a story. That was from 1 Samuel 17. So I'll just tell you a story. It's, um, it's what happened to me. This was years ago. Um, well, that, that's your craft work complete. Um, years ago, I, when I first knew my husband, um, when I used to go swimming, I would dive into the swimming pool. But, um, me and my boyfriend then, um, husband, uh, boyfriend, went swimming in an open air pool and I dived in and he dived in after me. And he told me afterwards that he hadn't di di dived before, but because I dived in, um, made him dive in. So, so that's what happened with David. He, um, he killed Goliath, but the Bible tells us that his brothers, who were jealous of him, uh, went and killed giants after that. So we can be um, what they call a catalyst for other people so that we give other people courage to do things. So that's Busy Art. Enjoy what you're doing and God bless. Mm -hmm.